I feel I must rebut the absurd suggestion that anyone acted with malice or as part of a plot against Alex Salmond. That claim is not based in any fact. What happened is this, and it is simple. A number of women made serious complaints about Alex Salmond's behaviour. The government, despite the mistake it undoubtedly made, tried to do the right thing. Alex Salmond has been, and I've said this many times, one of the closest people to me in my entire life. And some people around this table know what I mean by that more than, than others might. I would never have wanted to get Alex Hammond. Um, and I would never, ever have wanted any of this to happen. If I could have, short of brushing complaints under the carpet, which would have been wrong to be, if I could turn the clock back and find legitimate ways that none of this would ever have happened, uh, then I would. Alex Hammond has been for most of my life, since I was about 20, 21 years old, uh, not just a, a very close political colleague, a friend in my younger days, somebody I looked up to and revered. You know, I had no motive, intention, desire to get Alex Hammond. The procedure that was adopted in late 2017 in the wake of the Me Too concerns was drafted by civil servants, largely independently of me. However, I was kept abreast of its development and I did sign it off. As a result of a mistake that was made, a very serious mistake in the investigation of the complaints against Alex Salmond, two women were failed and taxpayers' money was lost. I deeply regret that. Although I was not aware of the error at the time, I am the head of the Scottish Government and so I want to take this opportunity to say sorry to the two women involved and to the wider public. I also accept without any reservation that my actions deserve to be scrutinised. As First Minister, I refuse to follow the age-old pattern of allowing a powerful man to use his status and connections to get what he wants. The police conducted an independent criminal investigation. The Crown Office, as it does in prosecutions every single day of the week, considered the evidence and decided there was a case to answer. A court and a jury did their jobs. And now this committee, and an independent investigation are considering what happened and why.